sense 啊。嗯。这玩意。然后还有，他说他有什么注意力不集中 ，HD、ADHD 那种。啊，对对对对。主要说经济其实对他来说蛮难的。嗯、呃，对他其实是一个很深的学问，就是。但是在游戏里面讲，他在他在频他在游戏里的频道讲，然后他们几、哦、其他几个人在，就是你只看得到他打字了，然后其他人好像哦，他们用讲话的，然后每个是用讲话的，我猜是顾在用讲话的。现在频道里是我刚刚看到顾，呃、欸，哎 ，Go Go 还在对 ，Go Z 蓝跟登比，嗯。<笑>啊，商店，你你现在是带在身上还是？商店我把它丢到那个人那里了。OK。有人了。所以 Arena 下线了吗？还在。<咳> Arena 啊 ，Arena 还在游戏里啊，应该吧。嗯。<咳>他住在加拿大的渥太华。渥太华哦。我去过那附近的，我去过，我去过魁北克。还，我加拿大是不是都是每个地方都风景优美啊？对啊，我也觉得，加拿大感觉不管去哪里都很漂亮。<笑>不像美国，美国我觉得就连加州都是一些看起来很丑的地方。<笑>一个 just cooking 嘛，然后，然后 just cooking 对,、啊、对不对？那我直接说 I am aiming for advanced cooking 好了，如何？那你在说说这是前前前前面有人在问什么吗？哦，我也不知道哎。啊啊，对，你就跟他说 advanced cooking cooking 加 advanced cooking。哦、oh, ，OK， 啊、uh, ，你身上有钱吗？呃、欸，我二十块，汇钱要汇钱。好 ，OK。我二十八点七 Luna。二十八点，因为我身上好像只有六块的样子吗？对，我身上只有六点四块，给我五五块。五块嘛，好，看一下哦。呃、uh, ，currency Luna from 那个 to 五块吗？我看到你有六点四块，对，有点少，看一下，有没有错？哎，没有被抽水一下好了
Men så dör vi. Fans in the south. Ah, so so the south south one. Just you go up, so okay. Ah, I was so, I'm so dizzy. 这不是在胖手指的，这是叫没有手指。对，刚刚是在同时想了两件事情，就没有仔细检查。啊，没事，看到就好。这个这个又不会怪你，这房常常有打这种错，这不是这不是那种很明显的错，就是很明显就是你你不懂什么，或者是或者是你哪里搞错了那种错。哦，这就是粗心的错，这就还好。我也不会觉得奇怪的。嗯。就那种连续一大堆错的那种，就好像你完全不选字，好像你打打汉文完全不选字那种感觉，嗯、我就会觉得。你说像某某某某汤匙这样子吗？哈哈哈哈哈。某某汤匙，哈哈哈哈哈。<笑>专业人士来玩这个游戏，对啊，我你说我这直接那种错啊，他就他就有，怎么讲有那种，呃，明明是新手，他真的很多东西不知道，他也在都有在频道上问，可是他就对对价格啊，还有就是需要有做做什么东西可以赚钱。跟什么东西，跟什么人合作，然后这些就非常有概念。真的，那他感觉就很会，很会搞人脉，这样每个人都会去去碰一下，这样。嗯。也可能是因为他 A D H 的关系。哦，有。虽然这样，嗯，这样讲好像不是很优，但是不一定是一个完全负面的。我不知道，我我认识很多 A D H 的人，我都觉得他们超超超聪明的，就是。嗯，对啊，对啊，对啊，就聪聪明跟 ADHD 是两件事情。这个智力没有影响，对啊，比较相似，对啊，就纯粹是注意力不集中。嗯，我也怀疑我的注意力不集中，可是我不确定是不是。<笑>你要不要问？你要不要问 Arena 自己有没有 Stamp Bill？ 他或他有没有拥有？哎、欸，不对、啊，他没有 Mining 技能。可是问他可不可以做一个 Stamp Bill？ 嗯，为什么？呃 ，Stamp Bill 是为了做什么？哦，为了压石头，我们就可以用比较好的机器把铁矿压一压。Stamp Bill。嗯。嗯，就把我们的矿堆的放的也不会生钱啊，然后就出一出，卖一卖，增加经济流动。还有 screening machine， 如果有的话，他如果要帮我们做的话，就顺便订一台吧。虽然我不知道我们有没有钱。他讲了，我怎么看不懂？
。Aesthetic 不是装饰性的吗？还要给我们 Winmail 这么好，变成都是暴汉有钱的这个人。那诶，这样的话 ，Cooking。你要学还是我要学？他说 ：“Cooking， 你学还是我学？我学吗？好。现在还有个星期，不知道学什么。你的话，你你现在我们原本规划……对，好像还是很希望我学 Pottery。真的。”<笑>看你要不要了，就是你你决定。我是不讨厌学防水啊，因为可以自己盖房子、住的房子，就是实用性，就是感觉，嗯，不确定。Honestly, it's more splitting numbers to make things look like they were. 变成就比较麻烦，就是要呃呃，要再去开一个。Clay 的矿场会比较麻烦的，算多一件事要搞，就是这样讲，多一件事要搞。谢谢你考，只是本科人来玩这个游戏，就是不一样。要是我有在玩衣服的，我还有在玩衣服，我就推给他，说那里有更大的发挥空间。要不要帮你打？好啊，可以啊，这没有差。
If Kate hits me, she should just mine for hours. I reckon it's dangerous. <laughs> If you want to save, you can call me. I played E for some time, but it was really not very interesting. It was too much style I'm going, like being classic. <laughs> It's dangerous. It makes dangerous. Is this thing that way too safe? I think I've heard of it. It's called way too safe. Hmm. Yeah, you can check that. That no man's sky. No man's sky. Have no what economy. No, I'm not. I'm not economy. Ah, just this is too too simple. Echo. Yeah, it's a bit 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 too simple. Is it DT? You also cut it? I cut it. Oh. Don't hit it. Let's see. Hmm. Oh. He said he's having a connection issue. Trying to fix. Oh. Should be good now. Server, you think that no man's sky, Joe? 
<laughs> Ce fac ăla? Da. Ah, ma fobia ai zis ceva? Si eu, si eu. <laughs> I can't kid you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <笑>
，你还记记得那个影片的标题啊、喔、？Internet historian way up here. In this trailer, it features a bunch of things. The players playing to death. The other players playing the players blaming the devs. And the real reason we get shitty games at launch is because of stockholders. Investors that push the game out faster than devs would like in the interest of making money. Dangerous。哦，看起来酷啊，怎么那个风味怎么长长那么像衣服？对啊。哦，你可以自己操控自己太空船了，太好了，这是我要的。哇，塞尔斯透Let's <laughs> kind Systems, weapons, or engines during your flight to be most all things are all. Oh, oh, <笑>又是一个超复杂、包干复杂的游戏哦。Frontier Developments， 我看到他的评价好蛮好的，在那个 Steam 上面。对啊。Mostly positive。哦，英国哎，我靠
哦，总部位于英国剑桥的剑桥科学园呢，哇哦。<笑> Cambridge 给钱做的吗 ？Cambridge 应该不是，跟应该跟大学没有关系。可是搞不好有他们大学学生去那边工作。哇哦，加入我的愿望清单里。看看有没有机会打折，打九百七十五块。啊，九七五啊，很贵。稍微应该说正常价格了。哦。哦、你说呃，买断制来说吗？应该是买断的吧，不像 Eve 那个算是月费。嗯、Odyssey， 哇，好酷哦，还蛮酷的，有点想要。那、嗯、<笑>太空船让我想到那个。嗯，有吗？阿瑞娜说又掉了。没有，对啊，没有，这里没有看到。嗯几点？三点二十，有点饿，没有吃午餐。去拿点吃的好了。哦，好。
Star Citizen 的游戏我没听过。什么 ？Star Citizen？ 哦、oh.。Star Citizen 有啊 ，Star Citizen 很红啊。真的、哦？我靠，我不知道。对，超级红啊。<笑>完了。另外一个打电玩的人却不知道。另外一个电玩系的却不知道。不过他是在。他是在讲，他是在讲笑话，日剧有一点像《No Man Sky》的那种， oh. 那种，呃，就是一样，前面很多的期待，然后实际上开始的时候并没有这么的、oh, 好。好的，对。哦，他是群众募资，我靠。<笑>对啊。<笑>一个笑话
对对对。嗯，你看你之前那个 No Man's Sky 的那个。哦中文翻俏妞报道，好土、哦！啊，每次翻都很土。情节喜剧，古普罗，七季一百四十六集，太多了吧<笑> ？New Girl， 听起来不一样。惨了，看起来很没事，八点钟。就好。七季多少集？你说？七季一百四十六集。太扯了吧？对，一四六。Sponsored by that game, everyone. Those sand planets from June at night. Think I might. Please, Sean. There must be rhythm. No, 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 it's not. Animals interact with each other in the environment. No. Lots of walking sentinels, Sean. No. I'm literally crying right now. Should I even ask whether I can play as a space pirate? With different attributes. Fly between star systems manually. Nobody's actually done it yet. Is that really my kind of thing? Ah, is it? I saw it. I saw it on the Bee Channel. It's supposed to be. One point eight seven, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see. Oh. 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 哎、欸，对吼，甚至可以找那六月八号，三天前。哦，我甚至可以找那几个人来玩呢。他们有玩 Minecraft， 至少他们玩还没有问题。开个 Adam 老师之类的吗？那个很雷的女生没有 Minecraft， 对吼，突然想起。哦，你是说，对，我以为你是说人家讲他们。哦，不是啦。哦，可以啊。应该没有兴趣吧？有啊，欢迎。有，张一杰要找一些女生来一起玩 Minecraft。对，还有两个女生，一个男生，两个女生，一个男生。那个男生也是，我猜他是 gay， 虽然他没有讲。哦
和我的嗅觉闻到了。没有，还会贴一些那种裸男照片。你而且不是搞笑，不像我是贴搞笑的那种，我会故意放到很恶的、很恶的那种假片的男性那种。The tutorial. We can't do any more do retarded things. Oh, 地震地震。地震吗？地震。这里没有，你看台北北部。嗯。或是花莲，今天早今天早上花莲好像有地震。嗯哼。很大。却没有警报，还还蛮有感的，是吧？可能还不到。还在放，还在放。嗯。No Man's Sky 那时候在 Steam 上面的 estimated revenue 有四千三百万美金呢、欸！我靠，好屌！卖了八十二万份。我靠，那他们其实赚爆了吗？对啊，只是因为人不够，所以、嗯、人不够。哦，你说他们的员工不够？对啊。嗯，可是他们后来也接受退费啊，我猜也有不少人退费。嗯。他们至少有接受退费，另外一个那个那个什么 f o r l o u t seventy six 就没有接受退费，然后刚开始接受退费，然后后来就不给。
，棉花啊，等一下、啊。我我在吃鸡肉，然后我家狗在烦我。你在吃鸡肉，然后它在烦你。它在烦我。它想吃鸡肉。它最爱吃鸡肉了，鸡肉是它最爱最爱的东西。它、哦、都看到都都毁掉那种。谁谁煮的？没有，是昨天那个昨天那个披萨店的那个烤鸡。狗可以吃烤的吗？那里面比较不油的部分可以了，主要是因为狗不能吃太咸太油的东西，咸的话对他们肾脏会受不了，然后油的话就是怕肥。哦，那有可能会堵堵塞血管，就这样，堵塞了。心肌梗塞，呃，中风。哎，对，有可能。That Hello Games thinks they're capable of having in the game by 2016. That's the first big mistake. This is for the PlayStation, and it costs sixty dollars. And there's a collector's edition. Second, even bigger mistake. That puts us all the way up here. And I think this is the main problem, because price tags set expectations. For a sixty dollar game, this was seriously barren and disappointing. Now, if they had put it out for twenty dollars as an indie game or an alpha, no problem. But when they gave it the triple A treatment, people rightfully aligned their expectations with other games in that category. That is the main reason customers' expectations were so skewed. Then Murray went to interviews, exacerbating the problem. Now, if they had put it out for twenty dollars as an indie game or an alpha, no problem. But when they gave it the triple A treatment, people rightfully aligned their expectations with other games in that category. That is the main reason customers' expectations were so skewed. Then Murray went to interviews, exacerbating the problem. Every time he mentioned a feature in the game, even in passing, fans set their expectations to triple A heights for that feature. Now, some people think the interviews are the main problem. In my humble opinion, not so much. Most people never saw these interviews. It's not that rickety 12-foot ladder Sean's standing on that's the main problem. It's the 900-foot building he's perched it on in the first place. So the obvious solution here would be an official statement. Hey guys, let's don't expect a 10 out of 10. Expect more of a 5 out of 10. No, the publisher just sank an enormous investment of marketing and opportunity into the game, and that would be a huge middle finger to them. The publisher isn't going to make you hype the shit out of your game, but you can't talk it down either. 
So, he's kind of stuck up there. In some ways, during the interview, he tries to temper expectations, but it's limited. Can you build a space station? No. But let's not gloss over the interviews. He's a developer. He's also the introverted type. And the big lights and the stuff on camera does not come naturally to him. Is it super nerve wracking to talk on stage at E3? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I personally find going on stage at E3 like the hardest thing I've ever done. That's something that I would have had in the past. You know, like, literally the hardest thing you've ever done? Yeah, yeah. Still, he stepped up and took interviews for his game from 2013 to 2016. And the main thing people wanted to hear about were the features. Can you have more than so every planet? Will there be wormholes? Right. At what point do you get do you get points or anything? From these interviews, people took Sean to be a liar, a Peter Molyneux or a chess club member out to sell his game at whatever reputational cost. But I think the truth is more complicated than that. Sean and the team are indie developers working on a new IP. Their project and plans are constantly in flux. They have no idea how large chunks of the game are going to look, especially not a couple of years out from release. And crucially, Sean doesn't understand that something mentioned in 2013, even said in passing, is going to be seen as a promise in the year 2016, even if by then you've decided to cut it from the game. For example, orbiting around the sun. Day has turned it out because the planet has actually rotated on its axis. This originally was in the game, but it caused the player too much confusion. It kept being reported as a bug in the beta, as people left the planet and then returned to find everything different. But, nonetheless, into the line compilation it goes. So while they're still essentially formulating the game, the media all want a piece of Sean and to report on features first. Conversely, Sean thinks the reporters might help him to temper down things by emphasizing that Hello Games is an indie studio. But that is not how journalism is done. This is how journalism is done. Can you customize the look of your character? The... Sort of. Full customization confirmed in No Man's Sky. Periodic table to create atmospheric particles that would diffract light at just the right wave. Total, I told you. The press kind of operates downstream from the community because things are click-driven as to what stories you get served and things like that. But a rumor would surface from Reddit straight to the front page. There's all this hype, and the project has increased in scope dramatically and keeps increasing as the months go by until a point. They are close to the deadline and have to delay, and the reality of what they can achieve in the little time remaining is staring them in the face. They know they're not going to be putting out a finished game. They're worried. There's nothing more they can do. And the fear that they will disappoint the audience is growing on Sean and the team. Um, I, I worry about, like, disappointing people. Upon release, all of these clips are seen as proof that Sean is a liar. And what doesn't help is his body language. I mean kind of the body language of someone who was lying. And this is why I mentioned he's an introvert. Remember, he's a technical lead. Actually, a really good one. But not a salesman. Cut him just a little bit of slack, because this is simply how he talks. Here are some innocuous questions, and he answers them honestly. Uh, lead producers on uh, No Man's Sky? Yeah, I guess I'm a, I'm a developer on it. I suppose the... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, creator or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, I really like making games. I don't necessarily love talking about making games. <laughs> I think you did a good even, job, Even though, though even, you know, you guys are very <laughs> nice. <I'm, laughs> Mate, seriously. Same body language. And Jesus Christ, they have him up on stage and in front of cameras and bright lights and on the goddamn Colbert Report. Try keeping your nerve on that. Nonetheless, free of that context, the clips have him cemented in the community as a liar. So the graph plays out right to release. And that graph is actually a track. And that track is what the hype train runs on. So it comes barreling up the hill. Instead of neatly pulling into the station, it comes crashing right through the roof. 
the disaster unfolds, they are absolutely shit on. So there were Sean and Hello Games, surrounded by the rubble of their former reputation. Punished Sean was at his lowest point, hated by the majority of the gaming community. But they were still alive, and they had made tens of millions of dollars. They were left with two choices. Take the money, start a new project, and be a pariah, a cautionary tale of the industry and hated by the gaming community forever. Uh, or pick themselves up, get back to work, and with potentially no profit motive, finish the game. It allowed me to do something that I've always done in difficult times, whether it's crappy bosses that I've dealt with before or crappy situations in school growing up. I got my head down, I sat in front of a computer, I made games, which is... That's what I did before. But I've seen many times, and then I can't even turn it off, and then I can't turn it off. So I can turn it off. What I enjoy. Yeah, it's rewind time. Okay. The year is 2009. <laughs> Guildford, England. There's a man named Sean Murray, and he's just founded a company called Hello Games. Sean and the boys are working hard on a brand new IP called Joe Danger. 2010 AD. The game just came out. It's a success. They're a small team, but they are ambitious. Let's do something bigger, said Sean. Let's reach for the stars. How about Joe Danger 2? Brilliant! It's 2012. Joe Danger 2 has just come out. No! But uh, that one doesn't perform as well. We need to do something even bigger than Joe Danger 2. Joe Danger 3? No, no. Even more out of this world? Something no man has done before? Uh, Joe Danger the mobile game? Yes! And that came out in 2014. Seriously, guys, biggest thing you can think of. No, I'm just a stock image, dude. Why don't you think of something? Sean pondered for a moment, then turned and looked wistfully into the mirror. Reflected back was the visage of Neil deGrasse Tyson. If you're going to make a space game, first person, have never been done before. How about that? I'm going up in orbit to repair the Hubble telescope. Mm. So that's not a knife. Who are you going to have sex with? How much microwaves are coursing through your body now? <laughs> the planet, said Murray. Hmm? Uh, space game. Procedural generation planet. Okay, that sounds good. Yes, yes, we all agree. So they set to work, cobbled together a prototype, and by VGX 2013, they are ready to announce another new IP. No, no Man's Man. Sky. Check it out, check it out. Oh, this is special. Oh my gosh! This is special. Yes, yes, yes. No! It's 2014, and it's E3 hype time. No Man's Sky has promised to be a game like no other. A practically boundless experience, vibrant with life and color and things to explore. What's over there? You'll have to be the one to discover it. 
And then, wow, look at that big f***ing dinosaur, holy shit. And a moment later, we're in space, having a battle amongst a giant fleet. Claim a planet as your own. Explore the galaxy with your friends. Okay, that's it. This is going to be the best game ever, you guys. It even won awards for its hype. And it will release in June 2016. The hype train was officially loading up and ready to chug out of the station. At every stop of the journey, there would be press junkets talking about the amazing scale of the game. Spread across 18 quintillion planets, it's so vast that by the time you finish exploring it all, I would have two new videos published. Sean himself was doing the interviews, because who is better to talk about the game than the lead guy himself? He went from interview to interview, and with each question, the answers he gave raised people's expectations of the game's scope. Can you land on a comet? Yeah, at the moment you can land on asteroids. You could encounter other players. Can you grief other players? <laughs> a little bit. They're literally building your own like massively multiplayer world that's right. procedurally generated. Sand planets like in June, rivers, walking sentinels, hacking. <laughs> so sophisticated that light diffracts through the atoms, they had to redevelop the whole periodic table to make it work. What? Even Elon Musk was hyped for it. Two years go by. It's early 2016, and that hype train is really moving now. Perhaps one of the biggest in video game history. Reddit was shoveling most of the gamer fuel. Skeptics and naysayers are treated as ballast and thrown from the carriage doors. Pre-orders open, and they are doing very well. The date is booked in. Some are even taking the day off work. So much hype there is that, uh-oh. Jason Trier of the soon-to-be-defunct Kotaku is about to spoil the party. He announces a delay. From June 2016 to August. Oh my God. Liar, the incensed audience cries. Please be quiet, they said. And death threats too. But he was 100% right. A week later, the delay is officially announced. Ooh, sorry lads, we need more polish, said Sean in his usual accent. To that, Sean received some death threats too, by the way. Although he didn't take them as seriously or go to the police. Yet. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. But the impatient crowd relaxed a bit and said, Fine, we will wait. But we expect a level of polish no man has ever seen. Okay. Speaking of waiting. Shadow Man here. Have you heard of Rady Shady? My wife. It's one last dance at your wife's funeral. Fu By the end of production. Oh God. Tiny. In fact, I haven't been. Wait. Mum's dead? Braid Shadow Legends. Add over. So let's talk about